will understand how to use unique row component in talent unique means what it is every single entry should have only one value that is a different value for example here i'm just going to create a job design and i'll show you how the unique row will be used so i'm just giving the name as unique unique means it is it should not be same the if the first level first row record should not be same as the second row record okay so let us use uh, the same data that is a euromart store data as an input this is a excel file data i'm just going to connect with the unique row okay okay before connecting with the row, unique row let us see what are the data which we have in this file using a log row component so log row i'm just changing the mode to table mode where you can see what is the data you have and for which data we have to find the unique rows okay so here you have 8000 records so it is showing up that you have various data obviously order id will be unique okay so we don't want to find anything about this if you want to check like if you want to find the unique countries that is how many countries are there and for that countries if you want to find out then you can go because you can see that in country the records that is a country name is repeated yes united kingdom sweden france like that the country names are repeated and even in state you can see that it is repeated okay so if you want to find the unique countries that is a number of countries which are there in the uh, in this data set then you can go ahead with the unique rows okay basically unique rows is used to find to avoid the duplicates and to get the data as a unique data okay so as of now i'll just show you how to use unique rows with country let us delete this log row and connect this euromart store to the unique row which is available in the data quality okay double click on that double click on the unique row here you can see that what are all the columns which are available in euromart store is showed up in this here okay in this unique key component so you have to specify which column you want to find the uniqueness you have to fetch the unique records okay so according to our requirement we have to find country unique countries okay so you have to select the attribute key attribute here okay so if you want to find the state then you have to select state here okay so let us first go ahead with country and i'm just going to connect this with log row okay so let's see how many countries are there in our record in our data set so the job is started from euromart store to unique row 8000 records will be passed okay from 8047 records we have 15 countries okay 15 rows are unique let us execute it again to view as a table format so you can see here that from euromart store we have in euromart store we have nearly 15 countries okay you can see here okay so these are all the unique countries you have now you can notice that there is no country is repeated okay so if you want to do this for the state so double click on the unique row we can we will click here state as well let's see what it is showing up okay so basically both cannot be possible right because in one city we will have we may have multiple uh, in one country we may have multiple cities right so that is what it is 128 records so it is showing up 128 records where is the country is sweden and based on the state so in sweden so the based on the state it is just showing up the records so 128 states unique states are there okay if you see the states there will not be any repeat repetition okay so this is how actually unique rows will be useful 
used in your uh, talent so unicrow is a component it's a basically it is an analytical component where you can just use this to find out which records how many records are there or to find the unique records in your data set okay so apart from this you have um, other other option as well like a case sensitive if you feel like it has to be case sensitive for example if it is a capital letter then it has to be completely every thing should be a capital letter okay so it will find out the first uniqueness okay so if we, if it finds the first country for example if the first country is sweden and again if it finds sweden it will not consider the second record okay and the third record is united kingdom and the fourth record is also united kingdom in the sense it will not consider the fourth record for the united kingdom entry so this is how basically the unique rows will work out okay and even after this okay you can also connect with any other components let us have only country okay and if you see with the country you have only 15 uh, rows okay so that 15 rows will be showed up here so i just want the country with um sweden okay okay i just want the country with the sweden so what i'll do is i can use a filter filter component here okay connect here with a filter processing double click and give the input as country equals and inside double quotes you have to give sweden okay so inside country i'm sorry inside the country you have to give sweden okay so you sweden within the double quotes okay and then connect it with the log row let's see here now what it's showing up it has to show only one record because there is one record after using the unique row component okay only one record is here you can see that only one record which is sweden okay so i'll show you what error it will display okay if you are if you are not using this double quotes because since the country is a string data type okay the country column is holding the string data type so what it will happen it shows that at least job unique has compiled errors please fix it and export it again so that is a problem because uh, in if you are connected with the multiple components okay fine it will show up where the error is you can simply click on the error and it is showing that error in the component property sweden cannot be resolved to your variable because it is it is a string variable right but what we have given is we have given as a value here so that is why it is showing up the error so give here sweden now if you execute it will work okay so this is how the t unique row component will work